And with a closer look at what's being done to stop the violence in the city of Peoria, we have our own Demetrius Sanders joining us live in studio. Demetrius. Well, Shelby, while numbers show that Peoria is having less gun violence than last year, it is still a major issue impacting the city. Now, a new program designed to reduce violence in hotspot areas may soon be implemented, and leaders are looking for the community's input. In 2022, shot spotter alerts, shooting incidents, and homicides are all down in Peoria compared to 2021. But Peoria Police Chief Eric Echevarria isn't celebrating as the city logged his 19th homicide this weekend. 19 families have had to bury a loved one, and, and that's just one too many. One homicide would be one too many. Peoria City County Health Administrator Monica Hendrickson says gun violence is a public health issue. In Peoria, where you see a disproportionate amount of individuals dying at a young age, I mean, if that was some type of, you know, a disease or an issue, we would be super focused on it. To address the issue, the health department is funding an assessment by Cure Violence Global, a public health intervention program that uses evidence-based strategies to tackle violence. This is a readiness assessment, and it's really meant to see how a community has capacity to do this work. Next week, nine public workshops will be held at various locations to give community members an understanding of what Cure Violence's model may bring to Peoria neighborhoods most impacted by gun violence. They talk about the overall approach of what this enters, which means having champions or these interrupters that really focus in the neighborhood to prevent violence from happening. And Chief Echevarria says the police department will be part of these conversations and any help that addresses gun violence is welcomed. Any tool that we can have to combat crime, I will take. Now, Hendrickson says that grant funding may be looked at to implement the interventions. Chief Echevarria says police are also planning an initiative that looks at street lighting needs, removes graffiti, and works to get rid of homes that are beyond repair. Shelby.